headshots? Bro, I downed kids because of headshots. Well, I have to do finish probably. I was just, I was trying to play one with the camp counselors earlier, dude. We're on, like, struggle streak, dude. We can't get more than, like, four kills, honestly. I'm like, yo, what? We need to, like, step it that's, up. That's really sad. I know, we, isn't we, it? We, we did, we did a little better. <laughs> we did a little better, he says, dude. Oh, my God, dude. I, all right, one sec. Let me, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. You want to know what I used? You want to know what I used? Wait, what was your loadout, dude? What was your loadout? FFAR, my own, and then I picked up some guy's HDR. Oh, dude, yeah, dude, that's my gun, dude. I fucking love the HDR, dude. That's my that's my sniper of choice, dude. I don't have Model Warfare, so I'm gonna need to, like, level up. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess you can do Plunder, right? Plunder is a good way to, to level it up. Yeah. HDR is good for long range, which, again, Verdansk, big long range map, very good. Um, and then the FFAR? Beam yeah. still. I just used it for fun. D what what, what loadout know. do you run on it? I'm gonna need to check agency suppressor task force. So I thought the regular suppressor man. is now the the go-to because the agency suppressor. I was using agency. Oh, interesting. I was using agency. The ranger barrel apparently got a huge b uh, buff to like range and stuff. Yeah, I use radar pad too. Nice. Yeah, you got to get that strafe speed with that FFAR. Yeah. That, that's what was mainly nerfed. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why it was great as almost like an SMG because you could just run that. Um, <clears throat> You could just run that uh, close con close quarters. Um, dude, my one buddy runs. He runs the Mac Ten and the uh, what's that one called? The the LC Ten. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that, I like that gun. Yeah, but the problem is, like, dude, you're gonna run out of ammo like instantly because you can only hold 150 SMG, right? Uh, oh, yo, thanks, Bummy boy, dude. Thanks, dude. Cheese. Uh, Wait, what is he running again? Uh. DM2, oh, right? DM, no DM2 money. runs the Mac 10 and the LC10 or whatever. DM2 is running that now. Yeah, right? I think I think he is, dude. Yeah, which is just like. All right, I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my. Yeah, you got your points, Patty. Good there. job, dude. Good job, dude. All right, uh, I'll, I'll I'll pop back in. Okay. Just, uh, just give me a little bit. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I got a dip around 6:30. I got Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, you, you, what coast are you on? What coast? You, what coast are you on? Um, Philip again. I'm central time. Oh, central. Okay, because it's six o'clock there for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It should be seven o'clock over here, bro. Dude, where's the rest of your team, dude? I need to. I need to encourage these guys to to play more. Who else do you, you have? You have Rotneg. You got Vibes. Uh, there's some other good people on. Rotneg should be here. Yeah. Where's Rotneg, dude? Where's this kid? Did you, oh oh is that who you guys played with? One sec. I haven't actually checked your score yet. Let me check it. Sorry. Oh no, we duoed. We duoed. You duoed and, and you duoed and you still Oh beat your score, probably. Oh shit. You guys got first. Oh. Okay. Uh wait no a minute. Problem right there. No 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 no, but first place is only a two X multiplier. So so here, 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 Phil, we got we got we gotta do uh, sorry. Uh yeah, first place is only a two X multiplier. You got, we got we gotta do some math here, right? So uh let's see. So twenty. I don't even get this. Okay. So wait, wait. Twenty-two kills, right? So twenty-two kills mm -hmm. is what you guys got, right? So that's yeah. times a thousand SCP, right? So that that gets you twenty-two yeah. K, right? And then you get a two X multiplier for first place, right? That's forty-four K. That equals forty-four K, but you only get a one X multiplier for for playing uh with only one other teammate. So you're oh. still you're still at forty-four K. Yeah, this is again. This is the whole reason I put this squad multiplier on that is because I really want to encourage you guys to play with more people. You know, that's kind of the. Should we do, should we do the math on the other one? The, dude, you yeah yeah sure. So, so here, let's do this like a little practice, dude. Let's do the the math on the other one. So the math on the other one, I think, was twenty six kills, right? Is that is 26 that twenty six kills and one point five x? Okay, so twenty five six kills. So sorry, twenty six kills, right? That that's twenty six thousand, right? And then you got a one point five on that, right? So that's gonna get yeah. you up to what? Uh, I think it's thirty nine. Good, 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 good. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Is that loud? No, but that was kind of disappointing. Mess it up. Okay, there you go. There you go. Is that better? Or or we can yeah. we can give you the perfect. perfect. You know this. You know what the sample's from, dude? Nope. Okay. Nah, it, no before your time, probably. This is a uh, Street Fighter. OG Street Fighter. Don't know what that is. I know, right? It's like okay, one one of one of the one one of the people in the class was asking me what ROFL was, what like Roffle was, and I was like, yo, what? That's been around like since the beginning of the internet, dude. 
means like roll on floor laughing. It used to, it was like our like LOL, you know. It was uh, what? I know you guys use keck, right? You, you say keck all the time. You're like keck keck w or something. That that's that's Twitch people. That's Twitch people. Twitch okay. Yeah, we, we what what do you say, Philip? People. When you say, when you say like lol, like something's funny. What do you, what do you what do you respond with? Probably just like a bra. Bruh, okay. <laughs> it's like, bruh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sor, what do you say? Or what do you... an emoji. Or an emoji, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sor, so if you had to type out, like, a response to someone, like, what would you say? If if, if someone said but, something... Like, what kind of response are we I don't know, like, someone did something dumb, and you're like, haha, or something. I'll be freaky dying laughing. <laughs> freaky? Yeah, but you wouldn't type that, dude. Oh, oh you would just type that. Okay. I mean, like, right. I, I kind of would, though. Okay. All right, so, Phil, back to... The, so, right, 1.5x, right, for top 15, Okay. So now you're at 39k. Okay, now you get to the squad multipliers, all right? Uh, and this is where, like, um, me playing with you really helped because, you know, even though I didn't get that many kills, I think I only got four kills that game. Um, but what happens is that gives you a 1.5 multiplier on top of that for running with, oh, th with three people. Okay. Or sorry, 3x. Sorry, 3x. Is it 3x? Wait, sorry, sorry. Let me remember this. One other person. No, no, it's a 2x multiplier. Sorry. So it's it's one x for duos, right? Two x for trios, and it's three x for quads. So you can always remember the multiplier as how many other people are playing with you. So if one other person is playing with you, one x. Two other people playing with you, two x. Three other people Makes playing. More sense. Makes more sense. Good, good, good. So we we ran a trio. You had two other people running with you, so you got two x. So that's why this was a seventy eight k game. Dang. So. The first place was good. Um, if you had had another person, right, then you would have you would have dominated. Like that would have just been an insane like score. Like team A is really, really, really trying uh, to to beat it, and they're getting close because they have a lot of people that they're able to coordinate. Like they're being like they're being very. I, I got to applaud them. They're being very good at being like, hey guys, let's meet up at two o'clock. We're gonna play. Uh, I'm happy to see that. Uh, obviously, there are more of them, so it's easier for them, and and I, they probably have more free time than you do, Philip. But uh, yeah. To be honest, we weren't we weren't really going for a record. We just placed really good, and we saw that we got twenty kills. Yeah, no, that's good. No, that that's that's a great game. That's a great game. And honestly, like you can probably rest on your laurels f for that game that we played for a little bit. You know, just watch out. Maybe Friday, Saturday, the kids might like. They might get a qu so so. Actually, here let's do some math here. So so you you guys had a seventy eight k game, right? Um. Yeah. Let's let's figure out how many kills they would need to get in a quad and place at least top fifteen in order to beat you. So listen me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of like listening. Listening. <laughs> okay. So top fifteen, so that's one point five X multiplier. Good. And then you said quads, right? Quads. They're gonna run quads. Yeah. So that's gonna be three X. Good. So a total of four point five. Good. And then, and we're trying to figure out how many kills they need. Yes, yeah, yeah. To at least, I guess, match it, right? To at least, and then you just know they need to get one more kill to to beat it. So, so seventy eight thousand, I mm -hmm. think. Mhm. Mm divided by four point five. Good, good. Yeah, no, no, perfect. Yeah, this is an algebra thing, right? It's it's yeah. it's X. It should be like. Yeah, we'll we'll do some math on this one. Yeah, I I can't do that in my head. Four point five seventy eight thousand. Yo, Gio. What's up? Four point five. Oh, we we had a really good game yesterday, but you know what happened? What? The freaking server got down. Oh wait, did it still record the match though? No. Oh. oh yeah, they said they're doing maintenance today. Oh, that's garbage. Like, they can kick you up. Did and they finally the nerf the MG82, dude? They finally nerfed that yeah, MG82. Yeah, yeah. But, it's, but it's still yeah. apparently top tier. It's still it a slapper? Damn. Yep. Yep. Okay. You gotta love it up. I can't do it. All right, quick. so I think it's like around 17. Seven, yeah, so we... Yeah, good, good, good. You're right, you're right. So, yeah, this is an algebra we thing. Need seven, yeah. Well, you need eight... <laughs> Oh, did, did someone Bommy sub? Boy with the tier one. Oh, what? We got a sub? Yo, thanks, Ooh. Bommy Boy, dude. Thank you, dude. Damn, okay. Nice. Bommy Boy with the tier Bommy one. Boy with the sub. Um, one sec. Let me... Uh, what's that doing? Discord? Can you no. shout out my name? Uh, yeah, of course. Or right, one sec. Let me... I, I, sorry, I had something up so I couldn't see it. Yeah, Bommy Boy 1. Yo, shout out, dude. I'm here. Mr. Mechanical. What's up, Mr. Mechanical? 
Yes, dude. Uh, this is technically not your office hours, but it's okay. I'm glad to have you here and whatnot. We're gonna yeah. we're, we're gonna go over like more advanced stuff. But you guys are welcome to watch, listen, and whatnot. You just can't earn an additional yeah, bond coin because you already got one for hopefully for, wait, wait, wait. for Isn't office it hours. Wendy's, Wednesday, Wait, Friday's Friday. everyone. Friday's everyone. Yeah, Friday we'll give a bond coin to everyone. Dude, you're mixing stuff. I'm getting confused. What's up? You're freaking mixing everything schedule up. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, because, I mean, so again, guys, the, the whole point of this summer camp is to have Wednesday, fun. Every, every, oh, I forgot the classes. Yeah, but, when, yeah. but Wednesday is for Team B. So I, I, I think I put that in the read here first, and I, I definitely put it in your individual chats. I said Team A is on Monday. Team B is on Wednesday. Again, the reason I split it is because I'm going to do more advanced math on Wednesday, and I'm going to do different types of math on Monday that, you know, I don't want people to be bored, and I don't want people to be, you know, shit, this is all over my head. I don't even get this. So that's why it's split. Friday okay, is I'm everyone. Gonna... Friday. What's up? What would you say, Sor? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing? Okay. Yeah, cool. Um so yeah, so you guys from Team A, if if you already got your bond coin for showing up to Team A meeting, uh, you're not gonna get an additional one for this. But I, I'm happy to have you guys watch. Uh, I think you can still also rack up channel points, which um, is another way to get SCP. Is just by watching the channel. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. If you have the Twitch stream open, um, you yeah, I see it. yeah. Do you see how you rack up points? Yeah, and if you tune so, in, you tune into success. Yeah, and I can't turn that off for Team A, Team B. So I'm just leaving that. So. Uh, I may adjust the redemption value of this next week. So this is like also like Call of Duty, right? We're gonna have nerfs, we're gonna have buffs and whatnot. Because if I if I notice that like y'all can just like redeem an insane amount of SCP through channel points, I'm gonna be like, okay, we gotta like we gotta tone that down. <laughs> uh, I want to reward you guys for watching, like definitely. Uh, I just want to you know kind of make things fair and whatnot. Um, but uh, what was I? Getting? Oh, and also, ooh, ooh, I think I noticed um, is that. If you're a, a subscriber also on Twitch, you apparently get channel you points. Get yeah, you get 1.2x. Yeah. So maybe that'll be a little incentive for you guys to go ask your parents for their Amazon Prime account. Just because I think it's free, right? I have it. Yeah, it is free. You can sub for free, right? With Amazon Prime. Yeah, that's cool. A, you can get yeah, a mine's, free mine's trial. Right now. Yeah, yeah. All good. All good. Wait. Uh, does anyone have a Samsung Galaxy phone? Apparently, they're giving out a free $5 Twitch credit for that, too. Whoa, wow. Yeah. My parents have both. Both my parents have it. Yeah, ten dollar Apple Gift Card. Yeah, uh, Bommy Boy, are you still are you still in the chat? Post post the link to uh to whatever that Samsung Galaxy. So you can get five bucks, I think, for free to use on Twitch. Uh, Wait, read you. If you have a Samsung How much Galaxy would it cost phone, if I want to buy a gift card. What do you mean if you want to buy with channel? You can't buy a gift card with channel points. You can buy bond coins with channel I points. That, I know that the bond coins. Like, how much would I need? Oh, okay. So this is a math question. So here. So what, what, what we'll do we'll do that math question next. I like that. That's a good one. That's like semi advanced. We'll, we'll take that. Okay, good. So seventeen point three kills. So yo, teammate, teammate, need, if you're if you're listening, if you're if you're 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 watching it, you know, like stream sniping, you need eighteen kills in a quad to beat well, Patty I'm, and Philip. How much is that? How many? How much? How much is a gift card? Oh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I'll show you. I'll show you the math. Okay. So here, um. Let's say you guys are able. Let's say team Team A is able to get first place. How many kills would they need? So what? What's first place? Yeah. One. So two x plus three x, five x, and we had seventy eight thousand. So divided by. Ooh, actually, five, it's it's not is... it's not two x plus three x, right? It's two. It's it's five x is what it is. Right? Oh, oh, I see. Five oh, x. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. No, no, you're right. Oh wait, actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it's six x, right? Because it's two. It's it's kills, right? Times yeah. two times three, so this is actually six x is what this is. I think so, someone did ask us about they they asked if the multiplier is is something where it just adds or or it stacks like it's exponential. Um, so for instance, yeah, two times x uh, x times two times three, right? This is six x. Uh, whereas x times two plus x times three, that's equal to five x. Do you see the the difference there, Philip? Yeah. Okay, so and, Wait, do you, and I, and I, I, I would get my coin. Uh, I'll get to it. One sec. One sec. All right. Um, okay. You haven't gotten yet. I'll get it to you. Um, so so Philip, what, what I I know what's happening. This the the reason why this is a little bit confusing is because you're like, wait a minute, is the multiplier on the original score, or is the multiplier on the multiplied score, right? 
Yeah. So in the case where it's a two X multiplier, it's two times. It's two times the original score from kills, and then it's three times that multiplier. So it builds, is what it does. Um, I don't know why I came up with this, but I just I thought it was. It it, it makes the stake. It makes yeah. Well, I actually I thought this was gonna be more confusing because I thought people would be like, oh, times two, add it, and then times three, then add it. Like I thought it'd be easy if you just do blank times blank times blank, just done. I yeah. thought it was like so you get the two x and then you get the three x and you make it five x. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yes. And I, then you do that score times that. Yes, yeah, that would that would be more. I I now see how that's simpler. That's too funny. See, this is why like everyone has blind spots. I have a blind spot, you know, and uh, you guys pointing out like hey wait wait dr gold that that's fucking confusing okay cool all right let's leave it like this because i i told them it was this way for now um so you just got to multiply all the numbers together um so 6x needs to equal seventy-eight thousand, right mm -hmm. so let's see what that would be uh six 78, 1, 2, 3, divided by 6. Ooh, okay. So, team A would only need... Oh, I should know this. This is... This is, this is uh, 13,000. 13,000. Yeah, 13,000 even on the dot to tie. They would tie, actually, with 13 kills, right? Uh, but, you know, I would hope you get more than 13 kills if you get first in a quad, right? <laughs> Unless, like, you're just yeah. doing some serious camping and you're just getting super fucking lucky with circle, right? <laughs> yeah, you're just Ooh, or you're just doing a bunch of recons and you're just uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Dude, I find that actually screws you more than more than anything because dude, if you know where final circle is, like you'll just go to it and camp and then you'll just get wiped because people instead of you going out and like thinning out the herd on the map, you just wait for everyone to come to you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then you get beamed from somewhere by an MG, yep. and then you're dead. Yeah, or someone starts throwing, like, mad fucking stun grenades in your house, and you're like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> stuns are broken. They're, like, 10 seconds. Are they? Yeah, dude, I run stuns. I love the stuns. Uh, they're... Stuns are great, dude. Yeah. You can't, you can't move. You can't do anything. You can't shoot back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, like, does anyone still run flashes? Like, why would you run flashes in compared to stuns? Like, it's like, do you I want... Run, I run Harpy and... Uh, Throwing knives. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't use the heartbeat Runs as much. Guns and throwing knives all the way. Yeah, dude, because I feel like everybody's fucking ghosted in 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 Verdansk. Yeah, OP. yeah. like heartbeat just like doesn't work half the time, and it like just makes me nervous because then I'm like, oh shit, they're coming. Um. Oh, nice rotten egg, dude. Yeah. Okay, there we go, dude. Yes, dude. Nice. We got another team B member in. Yo, rotten egg. Oh, and vibes. Vibes. Are you, are you in the chat, dude? Oh, you you are right. Cause wait, vibes is vibes blazed. I think he is. No, Vibes is Surge Vibes. Uh, I also... Thank you, everyone, for filling out the registration form. I think I almost got everyone. Um, we uh, we have a couple missing, and I'll post that uh, in a central document so you guys don't have to keep copy and pasting all your fucking COD tags to each other and be like, oh, wait, how can we play and whatnot? What, what was that nice. one for? Oh, dude, thanks, dude. Thanks for the follow, dude. Jax, Jax Joshua. Wait, what was up, Sorry. Yeah, dude. What was the form for? Uh, so the form was to get information, right? So I can keep track of you guys because half of you have different names on Twitch as you do on Discord. Uh, and we have Oof. we have 37, I think, 39. We have 39 people signed up for summer camp, so I can't remember everybody's, like, two different names. <laughs> uh, so I need, like, a little document so I can I – can, so when I'm giving you guys points and bond coins and whatnot, I can figure out, like, wait, who, who got what? Uh, also, yeah, you, did you notice there were some cool questions on that registration form, right? Yep. Yeah, so we're doing he that. Well. I better see a pencil case. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I better see a fucking pencil case. Yeah, no, and I, I, that's exactly what I, I want to know. Because, again, I've been out of, like, formal school for probably a decade. So I have no clue, like, what school supplies would be awesome to, for you guys to have. I've been out for, like, five days so far. Yeah. A mechanical pencil would be nice, too. Ooh, okay, a mechanical pencil. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Oh, that's like a like a fucking dope ass gold mechanical pencil. Yeah. Gold one would be nice. Do you guys still use like the like the do you have like the pencil sharpener? Does that still happen? No. 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 It's mechanical pencil or no pencil. Oh damn. Sorry. Yeah. Or you just use a pen. I just or use. We a... use our iPad. Oh, or <laughs> that's the great thing. Everyone's just like we just use our iPad. With the stylus. Yep. Every, everything this year was an iPad. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you, you didn't need any pencils. Yeah. I uh I I I I I used pen all throughout college and my professors would get fucking pissed at me on exams because like if you make a mistake in pen you're like <laughs> like I just got to start uh, yeah, to it out. Yeah, right? I I so what I would do is uh I stopped buying note. Do, do they still make you buy like notebook paper? Like do you have to write everything on like on the line or something? My my science teacher makes us do notebooks. Can you play solos? What? Can you play solos, dude? What? Yeah. Uh, it won't count, dude. Read, read the rules. Points. Read the rules, dude. It doesn't count. <laughs> um, oh, Patrick and I already got homework for school. Oh, really? Wait, I thought you guys just got out of school. We got to read. We got to read. Oh, they give you like a summer reading assignment? No, read it too. more than that. They what is it? Here, I'll read it to you. Okay, yeah, read it to me. You know what I'm reading? What? Anime subtitles. <laughs> So the letter I got today from the uh, mail is like, dear student, our record our records indicate that you're um you are enrolled in honors world literature next year. In order to prepare for a rigorous year in the sophomore honors program, you uh -huh. need to spend part of your summer reading from a list of selected titles. As honors English students, you will need to read two works this summer, A Thousand Splendid Sons by someone, uh -huh. and then you have to choose one from the list they give you. Okay. Um, you are required to complete an assignment for each book. And they're both due upon your um, return next school year. Failure to complete these assignments may jeopardize your success in class. No. That's <laughs> dude, what? That's what? Bad Yo, dude, I got the same thing. What, dude? That's just cool. Yeah, that's, that's some bullshit. Cool. What? They're... And then, and then, and then here is the so the book is like 400 pages. It's like a thousand splendid sons respond to two of the prompts um down below, and each of them should be a page in length minimum in MLA format, and throw um thoughtly answer the questions. It's used like textual evidence. Oh my god, dude! They're asking you to write like a whole like basically an essay. Two page essay for the first book, and then the second book you have to write like. And page. you gotta have that done by like August or something. August eleventh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. We go. Is that early or is that like normal? That's about I normal. Just, and actually, I think I. Just I think it's earlier. I think I. I think I have actually. Do I have you, the summer school ending on the eleventh? I have it ending on the sixteenth. We may move it up a week, honestly, because a lot of people have told me that like they're ending earlier in August. I um, went back to school in September. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah the Cali schools go back later. Uh, I know for sure. We we usually don't go back till like uh, Labor Day almost. Honestly, like September. Yeah. We're two weeks, three weeks out of Labor Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Damn. Good. Yo, what what's the selection of other books? Let me let me see if I read any of them. I can tell you which ones like maybe right. are good. So, at Clap when you land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Okay. Wait. Patrick, that's the same author that I had to read earlier in the year with um, yep. Bedoya. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Devils Within by S.F. Henson. Okay. Fake ID. Furia. Um, Zen Diagram. Stampede. Zen Diagram. Water Dancer. War Cross. Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? What? Yeah, that's... that's, that's oh, like, what the heck? What the yeah, fuck? One of those. <laughs> Damn. Um, Herine. Okay. Um, the house in the Cerulean Sea. Okay. Inherent Midnight, March <laughs> Book One, and Openly Straight, which is a uh, Openly Straight by Bill. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Books. What what is Openly that's Straight, a, dude? That's an that's an interesting title. Kind of. It's an it's it's an LGBT. Um, but why is it called Openly Straight? <laughs> that, that is I so figured it was something straight. gay. I figured it was something gay related. But why would you say you're openly yeah, straight? <laughs> This is some real books. Here, this is just stay. You're straight. You're just. Um, <laughs> I'm openly straight. This is some real books you guys have. Yeah, dude. Wow. Okay. This is, this is, yeah, what were you gonna say, I'm Phil? Were you, were you reading it? Was was there something with it? Do you, you want me to read the description of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Read the description. I'm curious. Rafe is a normal teenager from Boulder, Colorado. He plays soccer. He wins skiing prizes. He likes to write. And oh yeah, he's gay. He's been out of since he's been out since eighth grade, and he hasn't teased. Wait, and he isn't. Teased. Wait, you saying you saying he's gay because he plays soccer, bro? <laughs> no, that's what the description said. <laughs> say, yeah, no, the I'm way, way he said it, it sounded like a commentary, dude. <laughs> and I used to make fun I of that. Just hear you call his soccer gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I swear. Yeah, what up, I Jack? I want to read the rest. Jack, Jack, did you fill out the registration form, Jack? Uh, Therefore, no. Yeah, no. Okay, yeah, fill fill out the registration form, dude. Here, I'll I'll give it to you real quick. You can link it. 
Yeah. I don't know. Some interesting books title. Yeah, um, dude. It sounds like. Research. Dude, they sound like. Mo- I thought they were gonna give you. I guess because it's a world religious, li- li- whatever the fuck class. Like it's. World it's more like. Uh, it's more like eclectic, eclectic like work, right? These are all newer books from like 2019, 2018. Sounds and like I did read, Patrick, I did research on all the books. Um, there's a lot of them are like 400, 300 pages, and then there's one book that's only 128, so I'm going to do that one. I'm reading that one. Dude, the you got to watch out, dude, because some, sometimes the shorter page books, dude, don't give you enough material to, like, work with when you need to write the essay. And then you're like, oh, damn, now I got to, like, interpret this. Nah, but no, no, so it's different. So the book that we have to read mm-hmm. has a different prompt than the one that we choose. Like, it's a lot more simpler. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. So the one that we had to read is like two pages long, and then the other one's like a half a page. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Well, because I guess yeah, they can't standard standardize that one. Mm-hmm. And um, they said somewhere, um, it's not like going to be graded by correctness. It's just going to be like uh, completion, a big complete, but like a big completion grade. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So, like you kind of have to do it. Yeah, you kind of have. You can't just like Sparks notes notes it. No, you can't. No, Yo, uh, Vibe said he got Vibe said he got the same letter. Are all you guys in like the same school? I know Patty and Philip are for sure. Vibe's yeah, do you, we go to the same high school. Does Vibe's go to the same high school? I don't know who he is. Yo, Vibe's what high school yeah, you go to? I don't either. Shout out the chat, dude. Um, damn. Okay, so you guys got you guys got English assignments already. You know, that's always too funny, dude. Yep. English is always, like, sneaking in. They're like, yo, yo, let's let's give them some shit. They got to work over the yeah, summer. But th- this um, letter was signed all the way back in May, and we just got it. Oh. Oh, so okay. Late, yeah, that's... And when did you guys get out of school? Uh, May 28th. Oh, okay. Because all the days that we had... Like, Wait, that's a month. We just did online. What? Whoa. That's... Yeah, that's, like, almost a month late. Wow. Well... Hopefully the postal system starts getting their stuff. To- I've had so many things in the mail that just thanks, like don't USPS. show up. Yeah, thanks USPS. Um, okay, cool. All right, so you guys got English assignments. Well, that's unfortunate. We might have math. We might have math. Okay, now if you got math, that's great because then you know that makes so what I so this first week right we're just we're 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 making sure everyone knows all the rules about um, summer camp and whatnot. I'm not, I'm not going to go too heavy on teaching math this first week. I want you guys to like get settled and 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 meet 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 your teammates. Um, but next week we're going to start with uh, the challenge, um, the the special challenges, where what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through like some intro pre calc stuff, and we'll have little. I, I don't want to call it homework. I want to call it like bonus bonus assignments where like uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you know, and 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 but if you guys also like for instance, if you start getting assignments from math. That's also a great thing for us to go over and whatnot. It makes my life a little bit easier, um, so I don't have to plan out a whole like, uh, let's teach you all of pre-calc, which I'm fine doing. I've done it before. It's just, uh, I bet it's gonna, if we get homework, it's gonna be like they're gonna give us like notes, and then they're gonna give us homework, and then it's gonna then the guys gonna send us like a YouTube link of the YouTube uh-huh. video we made. It's gonna be like in 144p. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, dude, uh, I'm helping. That's, that's, what, that's what our math teacher in eighth graded in the start of COVID. Uh huh. It was so bad quality, I couldn't tell. What she was <laughs> You're like, yo, dog. Yeah, <laughs> the, you, so hard. You know this guy doesn't run an OnlyFans. <laughs> yo, Spark, what's up, dude? Um, yeah, uh, I I was helping some kids with their chem labs. So it's interesting. Uh, during COVID, kids still had to take lab classes in college, right? Chemistry and whatnot. And these are very hands-on things that like. Usually you have to like you got to measure some liquids, you got to weigh some powders, you got to mix some shit together, and so what they resorted to was they would have some poor TA in the who was working for a professor or whatnot would have to record a video of them doing the lab, and they were honestly like the worst produced things I've ever seen. I was like, yo, what? Like I can't even tell what, like what's happening here. Like <laughs> our biology class was really bad. Is it? Yeah. Biology is more more just like memorizing. I I find though it's Honors not. Honors biology was bad because our teacher linked, like, she she didn't teach. She gave us like documents online. Uh huh. We like we put into Notability on our iPad. Yeah. And then we just did our own notes. And oh, she, I see. Like, expect us to know it the next day. Oh man, yeah. Bio is yeah, is this? Like... It's it's weird, dude. It's where where like they just they just want you to. I mean, this is where like flashcards. But you guys use Quizlet for everything, I think, right? Yeah, Quizlet. We play Kahoot sometimes. Kahoot. Yeah, that's the new one I keep hearing about is Kahoot. Okay, so yeah, cool announcement. Uh, on Friday, we're going to do... Uh, so so Al Prince has been running the... Um, uh, the What is it? The reading assignments. And he's really impressed uh, by uh, you you and Patty with, with how you guys performed on that. He's like, damn, these kids are smart. I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah, they're smart. 
uh, <laughs> uh, but so he's gonna have a lot more. Yeah, article was, was it? Yeah. Wh- wh- what was it about? Actually, I didn't actually read it. I I, I gave him I gave him free reign on it. Okay. Uh, just co- so how um game like people who game play video games have better cognitive like assets. So oh, cool. Reaction times. Oh, nice. Oh, well, no, game, video games help with cognitive function and like. Yeah. In the article, like they say that uh, they want to try and use video games to help with people that have like brain deficiencies and stuff. Oh, nice! It's about like how the brain responds and like how you can like train your brain to have like faster reaction times. And, oh, like, so do do you guys do you guys so do do you, article? It was a cool article. Yeah. Do you guys know Al Prince's background? Do you know why he picked that article? No. So he's a. Uh, He's a neuroscientist, so uh, me and him, so we... studies the brain. Exactly. We went to grad school oh. together at UCLA. He did his PhD in psychology, neuroscience. I did mine in plasma physics. Uh, and he runs a lab now uh, in Santa Monica testing uh, stuff on the brain, like whether you can induce like meditative states and whatnot, like using lights and shit. Like, it's, it's... like whether it can function or no, like whether this or that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The article was like short. It was like short. It was like three or four pages, but really good. Yeah. Yeah. It links stuff to like Call of Duty Zombies and everything. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. It basically shows us evidence on how video games can relate a faster movement to the brain and how could it affect it. Nice, dude. Yeah. You know that sounds really cool. I'm I'm glad he I'm glad he I'm glad he brought that guys up for, up for you guys. That's that's a super cool. All right. So I gotta go for hockey. Okay. All good, dude. Good to I'll see Philip. Okay. Yeah. Friday. Uh, also, we're gonna do so instead of recess after Friday playing COD, we're gonna do Jackbox. So. We'll have um. Have you guys played Jackbox before? I don't think I've heard of it. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. It's it's it. I'll show it to you guys. It's really fun. You can use your phones and whatnot. It's just it's like trivia type games and whatnot. Um, and we'll give out SCP and bond coins for you guys doing well in it. You know. Um, That's so, sick. So watch. Right. I'll put an announcement on that in in the group probably either today or tomorrow. And uh, we'll 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 see you guys on Friday. All right. I'll catch you later. All right. Peace, dude. Um, see you. Peace. Peace, Patty. All right, who else is still in here? We got Rotten Egg and Jack, dude. What's up, guys? Uh, let's see. Well. Rotten Egg, do you, do you have any questions about how like the whole summer camp thing works? Uh, nah, I'm I'm good. But like, how exactly when you said we were gonna get extra box boys, like, what did you mean? Yes. Okay. Uh. So. Uh. With. With what exactly? With what I just said right now, or just in general? In general. Okay. Cool. Oh. Uh, so yes. So, um, you're gonna get uh e- extra bond coins next week, um, if you play any sort of warzone match with one one person on your team and you post your score in the in the scoreboard room, right? Um. That's one way to get extra bond coins. Um. Is you it, get one bond coin if, if, you, if I put my score. If you put your score and you play with one other person on your team, you got to play with one other person on your team. So that can be Vibes, that can be Patty, that can be um, uh, Philip. Uh, who else? Who else uh-huh. is on your team? Uh, Spark. I think Spark's on your team too, right? Like uh, Senpai. Uh, Senpai's on Team A, so that that wouldn't oh. count. It's got to be someone on your team. Um, vibes. Vibes. Yeah, dude. Play play a game with Vibes. And honestly, so a- after this, I'll, I'll play with you guys if you want. We we have like recess right. after after office hours. So, right. um, cause what you guys are trying to do is you're trying to get the best score for your team. Luckily, Philip, Patty and me, uh, got a really good game earlier in the week. I helped them out and they put your team in the lead. So your team is in the lead with a 78,000 point match, which, Wait, my doctor. yeah, you remember, uh, cause you know how like I just started, right? Yeah. I started like earlier season. I can't actually like, carry because like I can't actually carry the team. Dude, dude, you have like a four point KD, dude. You're nuts. Like on yeah. rebirth, rebirth, didn't you drop like six kills or something? And you're like, I just got this game. Yeah. Yeah. So you're. You, Wait, you checked up my stats? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because when I check the matches, it shows what your KD is. Oh. Did you know that? Yeah. So there's a. There's a there's a website. It's uh, it's funny to think that to be good at Warzone you don't have to play a lot. Uh, well, okay, so so this is actually probably something you learned right from the the, the cognitive thing, right? It's just like if you have abilities yeah. in in certain games and whatnot, you're just gonna be able to. Um, what is this fucking website? You, the, the the skills transfer over. Warzone stats. Is it is it Warzone stats? I I 
Oh, because yeah, they changed the name. Didn't they get now. sued? They got fucking sued or something, right? Yeah, and then they came back, yeah. Yeah, okay. What's it called now? The Wi-Fi Awards? So this is, yeah, WZStats.GG is what it is. Um, oh, man, what is it? There, there, is, there it is. There's my data. So this has like my profile and whatnot, and this has uh, the different games that I've played. So this is this is the quads that I played with the camp counselors. We didn't do very well. I think I think yeah, two one one zero. Um, we should we should have done better in this match. But uh, Wait, so I, but next week if I start playing with like vibes, I'm gonna get like one. Yeah, yeah. If you can, so again, right. to get to get a bond coin, right? You need to play at least one match with at least one other team member. Um, and you need to post that in the scoreboard. So Patty and Philip have already done that. So they're going to get a bond coin next week at their office hours because they played a game together. Um, I encourage you to, you guys can still play. Like if you, Patty and Philip, all want to play again, you can still play because you can try to basically make your top score even better. Um, so that team A like really can't catch up to you. They're, they're getting close. Like they have like some close calls every once in a while. Uh, but are team A the middle schoolers? Team A are the middle schoolers, so I, I decided to not break it up by age. I'm breaking it up by math level um, because I, I want to um, have it so that when we use the office hours to go over math and whatnot, that, you know, the, the material I'm showing you isn't too difficult and it isn't too easy, you know? And the, right. the way to do that is to break it up. Because you just did algebra, right? You're in algebra 2 or something, right, Rotten Egg? Yeah, I'm about, no, I'm, I, I, I was in normal math, but I'm going to join algebra next year. Oh, you're going to join algebra next year? Yeah, for the uh, first time. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I should put you on Team A then, because <laughs> Algebra is Team A. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all good. I'll move you to Team A, so you can go play with any of the Team A people. <laughs> oh, uh, nah. Wait, wait. What are you saying? So wait, what what math class did you just take? Oh, I just took Algebra too. Wait, wait. But you said you're going into Algebra. I'm confused. <laughs> wait, oh, hold on. Is that you got me confused? Because I thought, what, what, which one am I going for next year? Yes. Next year? Which, which algebra are you going into next year? Oh, sorry, which, sorry, which math class are you going into next uh, year? Which math am I going into next year? Yeah. I'm going into algebra because I am in algebra right now. Okay, so you're taking algebra two, I guess, right? Two. Is Ah, okay, then, yeah. okay, I, I think you're still in the right place then. That's good, that's fine. We'll see, actually, So so and, and here's what'll happen, Rotten Egg. When we start going over the math stuff, if you're like, wait a minute, my teacher didn't teach me shit last year, and like I don't remember anything from algebra, then what we'll do is we'll have you go on Team A, because I want you to be in the right class for learning math. It's I don't want I don't want to be like trying to teach more advanced topics that oh, maybe your teacher. Let me just give you an honest. Like, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I'm taking because right now I'm an eighth grader and then I'm I'm taking algebra next year for ninth. Okay, so let, then let let's put you on team A because that's what that's that's what I want you. All right. That's I'll, I'll move you to team A. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, Patty and Philip right. are such beasts <laughs> at fucking Warzone that like I'm not sure you guys need yeah. any more help. <laughs> you, right. They just sweep, but you're. You can stay, stay on the stream, whatnot. Like it's all good, it's all good. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll figure so, like, it out. When they start, next, when next year starts, you're gonna move me a TV. Uh, well, well, summer camp will end before next year starts, right? This is a right. this is a special event that we're running over the summer because you guys just ended school and like we just started getting a lot of people in the server and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I can I can help you guys and whatnot. But then school ended, and I was like, oh man, okay. Well, let's keep the momentum going. Let's uh, let's get you prepped for next year and let's also like make sure that uh you learned things from the the previous year because the thing about math uh rotten egg is is that you really have to be uh good at understanding stuff uh from before because the stuff you learn next all depends on it like it's 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 uh it's it's required basically um, you can, it's not like biology where you can just memorize, oh, a plant cell has chloroplasts. I'm done. Okay, now I can forget that because now I'm going to go study the skeletal wait, wait, system. Wait. After, after, after this call, are you going to switch me to Team A? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll switch All you to right, Team A. Thanks. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll move you. Don't worry. Uh, uh, and again, that, that's the whole point of the registration form is also to make sure you guys got in the right team and whatnot. Um, uh, and again, don't worry about the team sizes because at the end of the day, and this is what I was explaining uh, to Team A, uh, the, the team prize, the best team prize, isn't going to go off the total points of everybody in the team. It's going to go over what's the total points from the matches, their best matches that they submitted. So if the standings hold how they currently do, um, Team B 
will have 78,000 points collectively. And Team A, I think, will have 39,000. I think 39,000 is their best so far. And as every week goes on, will you know the the teams this is why you want to try to do better uh for your team to get the best war zone match um because it counts towards your team's collective uh scp and the best team is going to get all the cool swag swag stuff is the team fair i think it is sore because while patty and philip and i haven't seen vibe well actually i play with vibes vibes is good uh while team b does have some very solid players on their on their on, on their um on their team you guys have a lot more people, so there's there's a lot more potential for Team A to grow, to be a better team uh, by you guys doing what you're doing. Like um, T Bone's doing a great job of organizing you guys. Like like claps claps to claps to T Bone, dude. For um, he's been organizing you guys to play games together and whatnot and, uh, at certain times, and that's great. So I think it's fair because. While Team B is very, they do have some very good players and whatnot. Team A has more people that they should be able to leverage to make it fair, to make it competitive. Um, and the other thing that will make it fair is us, the camp counselors, um, because we can choose arbitrarily which team to hop in with um, to to try and make it uh, fair. Um, I I did this. Have you played with Team A before? I have. I have played with Team A. Um, it, oh. Uh, early on in orientation. I haven't played this week, actually. I, I, I will play with them. Right. If you guys keep asking, uh, I, I will play with you guys because I played with Team B, um, and we had an amazing match. Uh, Patty and Phillip uh, play very well, and they play very well as a team. That that would be the one thing I notice is that they're very good at call-outs. They're very good Indeed. at, like, moving together and whatnot, and it's easy for me to integrate and, like, and, and play with a team that's coordinated. So if you guys yes, play sorry. enough together – you can also become coordinated enough such that if I hop in and whatnot, that like we can get a very good score. Um, but that's something that only comes with time, right? You gotta you gotta build those uh, relationships and whatnot, um, figure people out. Uh, do you think you, uh, you could like message me like their call, their card activity? So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, uh, and I'll probably do it after this. After this, um, I will I will post. Since the whole reason for you guys filling out the registration form um, is to um, get all your COD tags so that I can put it in one place and then you guys can all add each other. Maybe one of you guys can just set up like a regiment on COD. Uh, I don't I don't know how to do that. I don't play enough COD, honestly, to know how to set up all the regiments and stuff. But you guys should set up a regiment and that way you guys can all see who's on and whatnot. Um, let's see. Jack's asking, can I join... Team A, yeah, yeah, Jack. Use um here. Let me tell Jack what to use. Go to go to go to this. Read here. No I just joined this. Yeah, just go to go to go to read here first. Uh, I so I I put a hashtag. Uh, it's it, that's the channel that has all the information about uh summer camp, um and it uh, it has it, there's there's a role. Do you know what like a reaction role assign post is? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, so you can use that to join whatever team you are based on, like... So what math class are you in? Are you in, like, algebra, pre-algebra type stuff? Um, I'm going into high school, so... Okay, nice. So then, yeah, you're probably team A, because that's... If you're just going into high school, you're probably just starting to take algebra, pre-algebra, whatnot. Um, okay. Yeah, join that, and then uh, read through it. And again, you can ask me any questions you have about, like, wait, how does this work? Uh, actually, that's what this is time is for. Like, if, if you have any question, questions in the next, like... 10 15 minutes you can you can buzz me and be like Yo. okay team, all right, i see do you see there it yeah so yeah i just get the helmet that's team a right? good it should roll assign you into the right thing uh you filled out the registration form which is good so then uh next thing is what is it to do uh yeah just 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 meet your other teammates you know and then um start playing some warzone together uh, uh all right yeah let me see uh, vibes, you can set one up. Nice, yeah. Vibes, set up, set up a team B regiment uh, so that you, you, Patty and and uh, and Philip can see when you guys are online. Because sometimes I know you guys, you just guys hop on, and you'll, you know, you don't want to use Discord necessarily to to keep coordinating like when to come on. You can just be like, oh, I see they're online. Let's just play some. Um, what do I use to track my games? Sparks ass. Oh, so Spark. Uh, I I use I I use WZ Stats, which is WZ Stats. Um, 
if you can see that. Uh, yeah. Ah, my KD keeps going down, but whatever. Actually, I find, dude, I need my KD to go down because I get I keep getting put in sweaty lobbies. Like, uh, I think, I think, I think, Patty, your KD is like 1.3 oh, or something. I got a uh, 1.3. Yeah. So you get the sweat, you get the sweat master lobbies, dude. 1.3, that's high. I almost tell it's the. All right, I, I guess. He's like, it's all right, dude. It's a little 1.3. <laughs> Why not reboot? Right, it's like 1.4. Right. Yeah. I get how like it's gonna work and stuff. You get it? You you figured out, dude? Yeah, I get it. Nice. All right. Someone was saying something else. What's up? Who's saying something else? My rebirth is almost 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, and, and again, but rebirth is this is why this, okay, guys are asking like, what, wait, why aren't we doing rebirth for the tournament? Uh, and yeah, the reason is because rebirth is such a grab bag, and uh, they keep changing it. So sometimes it's only duos, sometimes it's only trios, and like that would fuck up all the multipliers that I put in place because then like I'd have to start readjusting them every week. Um, yes, let's see. All right. If anyone doesn't have any questions, um, I'll hang around probably for ten minutes. Pat, Patty, are, are you around? Oh uh, yeah, I'm here. Right okay. Now. You want to learn some quick math? You want to learn some math? Sure. <laughs> He's like, Fine. sure. Fine, dude. All right, cool. Let's just you know that that's you know, we'll have something definitely more structured for when we when we when we come into next week. This is this is me getting everything together. It's been I've been sleeping much, getting everything ready, but. Uh, Anyways, okay, awesome. Patty, do you know what, like, domain and range is? Domain and range. That's domain with, like, y and, y and X, right? Yeah, good. Stuff nice, like dude. That yeah. On a plane. Good, very good. Domain and range, right? It's Y and X. Do you know which one is Y, which one's X? Uh, domain, I think, is... Uh, I think domain is uh, Y, and then no. X is range. Ah, no, no. The other way around. Nah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's domain is X. Range is Y. That's what it is. I kind of I kind of remember this because like range, you know, uh, uh, well actually I don't know. That's actually wrong. Because range you would think is actually like what's your range, right? Is your X? But never mind. Screw that. <laughs> um, yes, range is Y. Domain is X. Um, so what that means, right? Uh, you're right. On a on a on a two D coordinate plane, the domain is talking about what X values does a graph take, whereas the the range is is saying what y values uh, does a does a graph take okay so what you can have is you can have functions for instance okay here's an example of a function let's just say it's some cool little line that just is like y equals two x plus two okay um, and let's say your teacher asks you find me the domain of this function this is usually what they always ask you like yo find the domain um, what would you say is the domain if they ask you this? Well, the domain is the two right in front of the X, I guess. Ah, okay. So this is actually, this is the slope. I don't, I don't really remember this stuff. I, well, good, grade. good, good, good. And th this is why we're teaching it, right? Because you, you need you to know. know this for pre-calc and calc. Like this is always what they fucking ask. They're like, what's the domain of the function? What's the range of the function? Uh, and it, it it's fine. Like again, uh, you learned it a little bit ago, you'll remember it again, then you'll remember it again. Then you'll get to college, and you'll be like, shit, i got to remember it again. <laughs> Eventually, uh, if you decide to teach like I do, you'll never forget it because you have to do it for like 10 years. Um, but, okay, so the domain is asking what X values. Yeah, like well, the X values that does the function. Uh, the line crosses. Good, or... good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, or does yeah does the function I, I would say like take or, or something so for instance or intercept through or something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um it, it's like the domain is like where in x is this function so where along x so and we don't mean necessarily on this line we mean like in the x 
regime, right, in the area of X's. Where is this function? Uh, where does it span? I guess where does it spread out? Like, 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 where where could you find it? Could you find it at x equals three? Could you find the function there? Yeah. Right. It's right here. Good. Could I find it at x equals negative two? Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's, it's right there. Yeah. It's infinite amount of options. Yeah, dude. The line is infinite. Yes. Perfect. Because the y goes up and the x go side by side. Those are two different things. Yes, good, good, good. Yes, that's why we have domain and range. But we're looking just at the side by side. We're looking at the domain, and yeah. So Patty, you, you said it here. You said like, wait, it's infinite. The domain's infinite. But so. one thing we could find out about this is that the the strategy that that uh -huh. right now what we could already tell is that it's in a linear position. It's what? It's linear. It's linear. Okay, yeah, no, that's very good. That's a, that's a, that's a good thing there. Yeah, dude, this is a linear. This is a linear function, right? And the reason why it's a yeah. linear function is because it's a line and uh, it has this form, which is just linear. You're right, it is linear. But so let's go back to the domain though. Um, so the domain, right? It's it's infinite amount of x's. So what you end up saying, Patty, is you end up saying all real numbers is what is what they make you say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another way to write this in like math speak. Um, because mathematicians love just coming up with like their own little language for like how to like write things because I think they just want to feel special and like be exclusive. But the way they do that is they put this and then they do this. So what this means is this means contains and this means all real numbers. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is what they'll, they'll sometimes say. They'll say they'll do this. This is like their language for like contain x contains the domain contains all real numbers so it'll be like x colon this weird looking c thing with a line through it and then they'll do a double r um okay so knowing that patty what, what would the range be then uh the range would also be all numbers yes yeah. yeah it would because again you can find it at y equals negative three right she's right here you can find it at y equals six or whatever right it's right here so yeah good this would be the y also contains all real numbers okay i have all my algebra packets from eighth grade <laughs> yeah i bet dude. i'm able to look back at the stuff oh nice that's good I never look back at it yeah 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 no that that's helpful and actually th 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 this day and age they uh everything's on uh what's it you know khan academy and stuff but i find some of that stuff is is pretty uh dry and i get like i get really bored with it i'm just like no stop uh okay so let's see. Uh, let's do something slightly harder. It's always what we do. We start start with something easy, then we start with something slightly harder. Let's say we have. Oh, that's what the fuck. Let's be straight, please. Thank you. Um, let's say we have the function y is equal to uh, x squared plus three. Okay. So it's gonna look something like this. Nice, Mr. Mechanical. Good to see you, dude. That's a parabola. Uh, yeah. It, is it a parabola? I think. I think it is. Is it a hyperbole Pretty or sure a parabola? That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, dude, 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 you're asking. Dude, I should know this. Is it a parabola? I think it's. It is a parabola. It is. It is. I was. I was getting. Also, call it a quadratic, right? Quadratic function is what I would say. Yeah, yeah. The one I was getting confused with was a hyperbola. A hyperbola is two parabolas. Is what it is. Um. That's what we call uh, conic sections. Have you heard of conic sections? Uh, no. It's a fancy word for um, uh, types of functions and whatnot. Is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibes. This is. Some of you may have never done this before because this is this is kind of intro to pre-calc is what this is. So um, this is this is new stuff, but I'm I'm teaching it hopefully in a very slow and easy manner so that you guys should understand it. Um, so. Always uh, ask ask questions if 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 this doesn't make sense vibes you know just chime up in the chat or you just just, just you know type some shit and I'll make sure I, I want to make sure you guys understand this but okay so yeah we ha we have this function Patty you're right this is this is a parabola okay and it looks like this okay so let's let's say again your teacher asks you what is the domain okay what would you say the domain is for this function the domain for this function uh -huh. would be uh like where so the parabola like the lines that like go up yes like 
aren't they're infinite, right? Good. So yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So I I drew so these kind of. So technically, you would still see infinite. Yes. Good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So yeah, you brought up a. I I I drew this shitty. Uh, because it's hard for me to draw things sometimes. But yeah, technically they do this, right? Technically they keep going out, uh, in the horizontal direction. They keep going out across X. So you're right. In this case, the domain would be infinite. Yeah. Sometimes you see a parabola like this, and you're like, oh wait, isn't the domain only from here to here? And it's like, you know, no, it's not like that. Uh, because technically, this keeps going to the left and to the right is what it does. The range would be anything above three, though, because the parabola doesn't go yes. farther down. It good. just goes positive. Perfect, perfect, good, yeah. So it, for the range, you would say uh, uh, y is greater than or equal to three is what it is. Oh yeah, 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 Mr. McCann. Yeah, teammate, teammate campers are always welcome to join the Team B stream. Just be be warned that uh, it may be a little advanced, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to uh, stop and explain the more uh, the basic things that are required to know this because uh, that would that would be fair to Team B because Team B needs needs uh, we have to go at a certain pace, and I can't keep repeating old stuff that Team B already knows. Um, but um, if, if, if you guys want to watch, you're all, always more than welcome to watch. Please watch. Um, and uh, actually, if you have questions about this type of stuff, Friday is definitely the day uh, to, to go over it and stuff. But, uh, but please, yeah, I, I love it. Watch it. Have fun. Um, okay, so yeah, good, good. Very good, very good job, Patty. Yep, it's y is, y is greater than or equal to 3, right? Because it never hits any of the Y functions, any, any, any of the Y coordinates down here. Okay, we'll do a last one here before we end office hours. Uh, why why is the range three? Okay, I'll explain, explain it real quick. The reason why the range is three is because the range looks at what y values um, uh, does the function uh, touch, okay? So since this right here this is three. You can see for y values, right? Like four, five, six, seven. It touches all these y values. Like the function here will touch y equals seven. The function here will touch y equals six. Here it'll touch y equals five. But this function will never touch any of the y values below three. Um, and so that's. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Yes, vibes. Yes. If the line is a parabola, the domain is. Uh, always infinite. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, because it hits all the x values. Um, we, you can also look at this from like an equation point of view. Okay, so if we see the equation y equals x, x squared plus 3, you ask yourself, what values of x can I put in this function? Since this is just an x squared, this means I can put any value in for x. And that's why the domain is all real values because I can put any number into X. There are only certain certain situations that would stop you from putting numbers in for this X. Um, and I'll, I'll show some of them. So the, the first thing you can't do is you cannot divide by zero. Don't divide by zero. No, no, no. Don't divide by zero. Don't do it. Shit will break. Like you'll explode. Like, um, um, the second thing you can't do is you can't take the square root of negative numbers, okay? Uh, and that's pretty much it, honestly. Those are, like, the only two rules of math that, like, you can't really when at least when doing domain and range. Um, so what I mean by this, so let's let's say we had a new, a new function. Let's say we had a function y is equal to the square root of uh, x uh, minus 4, Okay. Patty, do you, do you know what the square root of x minus 4 looks like as a graph? Square root of x minus 4? Yeah. What's well, it? I know the 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 thing you have to draw. Uh-huh. Isn't it like a, it's like a line that gradually goes up? Yeah, something like this. It goes like to the right or left. Yeah, it's yeah, like good. that. Yeah, so this right here, this is usually y equals the square root of x, okay? But now what we did is we put a, a minus 4 on it, okay? 
And I did this in an earlier lesson, but uh, I'll go through it again. Wh whenever you have some plus or minus things and they're very close to the x, like they're not out here, like if it was outside the square root, this would be something different. This would be what we call a vertical transformation. Since this uh, minus 4 here is right next to the x, this is a horizontal transformation. Or horizontal shift, okay? So what that's going to do um, is this is going to move it to the right four units, okay? So uh, if we draw another graph, it's going to look something like this. Ah, fuck. This would be like y equals the square root of x minus 4. We'll do another lesson on like exactly why that is, like why it moves over to the right four. That's a that's a. Have you? Isn't negative? Doesn't negative negatives always go to the right and positive always goes to the left? Very good, very good. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. But then it's different, right? For shit that's outside, right? So if if you have stuff outside of the square root, like plus will make stuff go up, minus will make stuff go down. Yeah. It's it switches is what it does. So, okay, right. So let's let's look at the the domain and range of this function, right? So what what's the domain of this function? The square root of x minus four. What x values can this function take? Does it look like? Uh, anything beyond the number four. Good. Yes. Yeah. Looks like the domain, right, is anything greater than four. So we would say x is greater than or equal to four. You can also see this by looking at the function, okay? Because remember what I said here with rule number two is you can't take the square root of negative numbers. So when I'm looking at my function and I'm like, what values can I put in here for x? Well, okay, can I put zero in for x? No. No. Why can't I put zero in for x? Because it will be a negative number, negative four. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Good, yeah. Because this will be zero minus four, so this will be the square root of minus four, which is like bad, 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 bad. Don't do that. Um, so, exactly. And so the first, the, the smallest value of x, um, wouldn't green be plus 4? Uh, no, this would be minus 4. So this, this has to do with, um, transformations. And we'll go over this. This is, this is definitely a TMA concept that I'll go over. Uh, graphs, they, they do, they do the opposite thing for plus or minus when, uh, when we're doing horizontal transformations. Um, but back to, so this, so... You, you need at least a 4 in for x in order for that square root to at least be 0. So anything greater than 4 is legal, right? Yep. Okay, nice. Um, okay, well, we went through time. Let me, okay, I'll just, I'll, you know what I'm, you know I'm going to do? I'm going to make one of the bonus questions, the one I was going to give you. But let me just show real quick what the, what the other divide by 0 thing is. So let's say we have the, the function y equals... Um, the square root, uh, y equals 1 over x minus 2, okay? This graph is going to end up looking something, uh, uh, something like this. Uh, let me get a... Okay. I'm lost a little, but... Uh. Yeah, yeah, So here, here, we can actually graph this, actually. This is cool. Do, do you guys use Wolfram Wolf Alpha at all? No. No? Okay, here, let I me... use Desmos. Oh, Desmos. Oh, Desmos sounds cool. Oh, oh, I know what Desmos is. Okay, so let's do um, one over... You're not Desmos. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've, I've definitely heard of it. Um, I like Wolfram... I use that. Okay, so this is, this is what the graph looks like do you see how it's kind of like a curve and then a curve right and there's like a there's like a no man's land like right in between here why is that though like when it's divided by the dome yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay forms that yeah no let, let's show you why let's show you why okay um okay so the reason for this is okay and and this is this is kind of a cool thing so this this occurs at x equals two all right so what happens when i plug in x equals two into my function here what do i got x equals 2 yeah yeah right because this yeah, well that would be well if x equals 2 then 2 minus 2 is 0 good and so then you have 1 divided by 0 0 which you can't do which you can't do right see this is 1 over 0 which is bad okay all right so that's why this this that's why some funny shit here happens at 2 okay 
But one thing you may be asking is like, wait, why does this one blow up to the top and why does this one blow up to the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's 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 experiment with some numbers close to it. Let's say for instance I'm at 3, okay? See how you get 1 over 3 minus 2 would just be 1, right? Yep. Okay. Let's get even closer. Let's go 2.5. So now we have 1 over 2.5 minus 2, which is equal to 1 over 0.5. And what's 1 over 0.5? Uh, wouldn't that just be 0.5? No, no, no. How many 0.5s can I put in 1? 2. Good. Yeah. See, this, this becomes 2, right? Okay. Let's get even closer to 2. Let's say I get to, like, let's say, I, let's say I'm, like, right the fuck here. Let's say I'm, I'm at 2.1, okay? Um, yep. Yeah, good to see you, uh, Mr. Mechanical. Uh, okay, so now we have 1 over 2.1 minus 2. Okay, what's 2.1 minus 2? 0.1. Good. So that's 0.1, okay? So what we're doing is, you see how this number, as we get closer to 2, is getting really small, right? Yeah. We went from we went from 1 to a half to 0.1. Okay, what's a, what's a, what's a big number divided by a small number? Big number divided by a small number. Uh-huh. Uh, well, usually it just turn into, like, a fraction of the big number. A fraction of the big number, right, okay. But let's say I divide the number by a really, really, really tiny number, okay? Like, let's say I do 1 divided by 0. 0.00001, okay? How many point zero 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 ones can go into 1? A lot of them. A fuck ton, right, yeah. So this gets this gets huge, right? As this number gets closer and closer to zero, right? Yeah. So that's why the function, the y value, also gets huge. Because as we're getting closer and closer to two, and we're on the positive side, right? We're on we're on we're on number as 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 long as this number is greater than two, but slightly greater than two, this is going to be a very, very small positive number which one divided by a very very small positive number is going to end up being positive at infinity is what happens does that make sense patty right. <laughs> you seem not convinced he's like i'm, I'm getting a little bit lost okay but i see where you're going with it yeah let's say okay say one 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 over one right is one right one over point one is equal to ten one over point oh oh one is equal to 100, okay? 1 over 0. 0.0001 is equal to 1,000, okay? Do you see the trend here that as this number gets closer to 0, the result of it, right, 1 divided by that thing, gets really, really big, right? Okay. So what's happening in 1 over x minus 2 is this number is almost 2, right? Sometimes, for instance, it's 2.00001. So when we're very close to 2, but we're not exactly at 2, and we subtract 2, right, we're going to get that very, 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 very small number. And when we do 1 divided by that very small number, right, 1 divided by a very small number, we're going to get a very big number. Yeah. Okay. So that's why as this function gets closer and closer to 2, it starts blowing up towards positive infinity. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. It'll sink in. It'll sink in a couple times. Uh, the reason why this one goes down to negative infinity is because this gets these x values are getting closer to two, but they're slightly less than two. So the example here would be: let's say we had one over one point nine minus two, right? Yeah. This it starts to dip down. Yeah. What would this be? What would one point nine minus two be? Negative point one. Negative point one. Right. Good. So see how this is negative 10? And then let's say we get even closer. Let's say we're like 1.99, right? Now we're 1 over negative 0.01. Now this is negative 100, right? And so on and so forth. Eventually, you're just 1 over 1.99999 uh, minus 2 that you get 1 over negative point, I don't know, so many 1s that this equals negative basically infinity. And so that's okay. that's why that that's why to the left of the two, it tries to get to two, and then it it drops down to negative infinity. 
whereas to the right of the two, it tries to get close to two, and it just boosts all the way up to in positive infinity. Yeah. Little preview. That's actually something. That's actually a concept that they uh, that they teach you a little bit later in precalc, but it's it's a cool thing with domain and range. So, to tie tie this all together, the the domain of this would be all real numbers except x equals two, because <laughs> it can't equal x equals two. Okay. Yeah, that's the. I gave you I gave you a little bit of like a, a like a in the future thing. So don't worry about like not getting it a hundred percent now because what'll what'll happen is when you when you need to learn it again, you'll be like, Oh wait, shit. I remember Geo actually went over that a little bit, so like it'll start to things start to click a little bit more. Um but awesome, great questions and stuff, dude. Patty uh, Patty, I'll get you an extra bond coin for that because you, you participated very well with us. Um Okay, for everyone watching that's the end of office hours. The next one we'll have will be for both teams on Friday. Um, that one will be, I believe, at three o'clock. Um, and then um, I'll announce we're probably we're gonna do some fun Jackbox games afterwards, some some group games. Uh, if you haven't already signed up for the summer camp, please do. It's in our Discord. There's so many links on my uh, Twitch here that you can do. Um, and now what we're gonna do uh, is play some Warzone. Um, if anyone wants to play, I'll be in the voice channel. Patty, I think, do you have to run somewhere? Do you want to play? Uh, I'm going to go for now. All good. All good. All right, great. Run. Um, thanks, Patty, for, 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 for learning with us and shit, dude. This was cool. I always, I always like when I have a student that, like, I can be like, ooh, I can teach you something. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, but awesome. Um, it, vibes, nice. You're getting it. Cool. Uh, I'll be in, uh, for the rest, there are a lot of people on, on uh, yeah, Vibes and Rotten Egg. If you guys want to play Warzone, hop in the, the, the Recess Voice channel. And I'll play with you guys. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys. Peace.